What's going on? It's your boy Eric, aka Young God, coming to you live in the Green Dungeon. Give it to you, real raw rugged. That was very, like, just stagnant and boring, wasn't it? I just woke up. I gotta go to school. It's nine o'clock in the morning. You see, I gotta, I gotta go to school in a few. So, I was like, why not, man? I should have did this like two days ago, but I didn't. So now I do it right now. All right, let's get into it, man. What I've been watching: Serpent with Feet. Now, I don't know if anybody knows this young man. But he's really strange. Um, everything about him is strange. His appearance is pretty strange. The way he carries himself is pretty strange. The way he sings is pretty strange. But I like it for some reason. Like he has like a big septum piercing. He does his like weird thing with his voice when he sings, where he's like, "Say he can get his voice," but I can't really do it right now because, like I said, I'm kind of tired. But it's it's really strange, man. He's a strange guy. But if you want to listen to some strange R and B, his R and B is what it is. And it's pretty soulful, but it's just weird, man. Like, I look at that interview with him. He was, like, carrying around, like, this black baby doll. And he gave the baby doll a name. And just a weird guy, man. But, hey, I like weird, man. I don't think he's, like, forcing it. I think he's just one of those one of those weirdos, man. I like that. So, shout out to him. Don Tolliver. See, you got issues. See, you got issues. I can't sing right now. I'm too tired, bro. But, yeah, this song is fire. Oh, my gosh, bro. This guy is to be looked upon in 2019. He signed to Travis Scott. And boy, did Travis Scott make a good signee with this young man. He is super talented. Has a very unique voice. It's either you hate him or you love him. Because his voice is the thing that's going to get you. It's either going to be like, turn this off or turn this up. So, I don't know how it's going to be for you guys. But it's turn this up for me, man. I love this guy. Shout it down, Tyler. St. Cam. Love Kill. Can't believe I never put this in here. This is my own boy. He raps. And like I said, I wouldn't put a nigga in here if he sucked. This nigga here is pretty good, man. He sounds like a younger Wi-Fi funeral vocal-wise. And it's fire, bro. He got this song, and it's really, really good, bro. The nigga's spitting on here. Can't make being like this in a minute. In a minute. That nigga was going on this song right here. So if you just want to hear some good rapping, some good technical rapping, he's rapping really fast. He'll slow it up, switch the beat. I mean, switch the flow up. He's really good, bro. Shout out to Cam. He's going to be doing things, man. I love Friday. Now, I'm not going to lie, bro. I would say it's a guilty pleasure, but, hey, man, I, I like I like I Love Friday. I love Xeno Car. I love um I love a smoke a job, man. This is fire right here, bro. I think Xeno Car or Xeno Car can sing, bro. I feel like, yeah, they're like a meme, funny group or whatever, but he actually has vocal talent. I don't think he knows how to properly use it because he's all over the place with it sometimes. But if he went to like a vocal coach that showed him how to hone in his vocal talent that he already naturally has, man, it's like this one part of the song where he's like, I've been asleep all night and I can spend some time. And he does like this run with his voice. Fire, bro. And their songs are catchy, bro. Sauce it up is fire, bro. What do you say? Um, sauce it up with the juice. Hey, yeah, yeah. Sauce it, sauce it up with the juice. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Billy G with the moves. Hey, yeah, yeah. I think the song is hard, bro. Uh, a smoke job had a hard bar. I mean, she had a hard verse, but this song is great, bro. Shout out, I love Friday. I like I love Friday, man. They're fire. Zeno Car. If anybody, if the nigga ever see this, man. Go to a vocal coach. I'm telling you, this nigga will be crazy because he already has like this weird, like, like kind of like new age rock voice, like a Green Day or something like that, Blink 182 type voice. But it's it's kind of soulful a little bit because he black because he already got a little sasson. You know what I'm saying already. So I'm telling you, bro, this nigga fire, man. True Life reveals what really happened between himself and Future working with Jay Z and Dungeon Family. That makes it sound like him and Future are beefing, but they're not. And I love this man. I tried to True Life. He seemed like a really cool guy. If you ever seen a classic video, I think I had in one of my old what I've been watching videos. He was basically like in the car, and he you know, he basically he would get out of the car and went to the gas station, and he asked for some uh, fruity pebbles. So he got some fruity pebbles, and um, <laughs> he had some fruity pebbles in the car. He had some rosé, some some liquor, and he poured the rosé as milk for the for the fruity pebbles inside of a bowl. Then he poured the fruity pebbles inside of the bowl, and he ate them. And he said, "This is the breakfast of champions." Rose and Fruity Pebbles. And he started eating Rose and Fruity Pebbles. And he was dead serious. Video is hilarious, amazing. Nigga was serious. Though. Like, nigga wasn't even playing. Nigga was trying to make it funny. Like, he was really serious. That That's really the breakfast of champions. This is the breakfast for dirty niggas. Man. I would never eat no goddamn Rose and Fruity Pebbles. That's disgusting. But yeah, um, it's a pretty cool guy, though. You know, I was watching an interview talking about, like, being in prison and how 
when you get out of jail or prison, niggas blow. Like, where the music? Where the music? But he's like, bro, I have a family. I want to spend time with them. Like, yeah, music cool and hub, but I need to get back these years that I missed. And it was really cool, man. Talking about how he was like in jail and our prison. And his son to call him, like, yo, I got this new video game. I want you to play it with me. Like, when you going to play it with me? And it's just sad, man. But he's out of prison now. And, yeah, he's happy. He seems to be happy with his family. Shout out to True Life, man. Hope hope he has a very, very positive future. My Hops, Viper. Bro, I've never heard this song. I know, I don't know Viper. Like, I'm cool with the nigga. But I interviewed him. And, I've like, I've, of course, seen Viper around on the internet. And, yo, this might be the most funniest song I've ever heard, bro. This song is about his hops, like literally him jumping up in the air. He said that niggas want to kill him because his hops. He said he got shot in the dome because of his hops. This whole song is about him dunking on niggas and niggas want to kill him because he could jump high. I kid you not. That's literally from point A from point B. That's the whole entire song. If you want to laugh very loud and for a long time, listen to my hops. This song is ridiculous, bro. I'm telling you, this nigga's like, niggas want to shoot me because my hops. I got a triple double because my hops. <laughs> and it's so funny. He tell niggas how to throw the alley you Throw it off the backboard. And I'm a dunk it because my hops. <laughs> man, y'all go listen to that. This song is ridiculous. Sade the big unknown. Come on, man. Sade is queen. Sade is everything. You know, I, if you don't know what Shadi is, I'm not even explaining who Shadi is to you. But she dropped a new song in a video. It was very, like, cinematic. I was trying to figure out if it was, like, for a movie or whatever. I can't tell. But it's really beautiful. It's Shadi. If it's, if it's Shadi related, it's going to be beautiful, man. MF Doom rapped over a Shadi sample, and it was beautiful, man. Ain't nothing about MF Doom beautiful. But it's that song, um... Ooh, what's it called? I know it's on um, it's on one of the album covers where he's like the animated him animated version of himself. I can hum though. I can hum the I can hum the sample. I don't know what the song is called, but it's a. I know you were the one for me. I swear the whole world. That's not right there. That song is fire, man. Um. Borat returns to tamper with midterm elections. Come on, man. It's Borat. It's Sasha Baron Cohen. Who doesn't love this man right here? He's really hilarious. He goes back to trolling. He already trolled the whole summer with Who Is America. And now he comes back with this right here. Hilarious. Shout out to Borat, man. Nick was in his bag. E40. Ew. As a fan of saving while I was eating spicy hot wings. Ew. Hot ones. Ew. <laughs> I'm from the Bay Area. Ew. Fourth th- <laughs> E4 Thizzle. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to E4 Thou Wow, man. E40. Earl, man. This nigga's hilarious, bro. Like, basically, he did a live eating of the hot ones. I'm pretty sure everybody's seen. And yeah, it was really funny. It's probably one of their best ones, man. Go watch it. Ew. Lil Yachty has the first experience with spicy wings. Ew. <laughs> Hey, man, this nigga Lil Yachty is stupid, bro. This nigga could eat, eat the food, man. This nigga tapped out, bro. This nigga, I can't eat it anymore. But I, I can't blame him. It was his first time ever eating hot sauce, which I don't know how you're black, growing up in black households and avoiding eating hot sauce. That is really crazy. So, shout out to Lil Yachty for being on this and, like, trying to endure it. He couldn't, but he was a trooper, man. He tried. Um, Full episode, Davis vs. Davis, R&B Dreams. Well, this is, this is, uh... Shout out to Shay Davis, man. I, I've did videos about him before. I was going to interview him. I should still interview him. He was on Divorce Court, man. Shay Davis. This is this is the same Shay Davis that you've ever seen a Smack DVD. He was on. He was all on those, man. Shay Davis, you know, uh, been on the news. Police chases. Twelve gauges. Even made the front pages. That that Shay Davis is bad. That nigga Shay Davis said, Shay Davis, I've been on the news. Police chases. Twelve gauges. Even made the front pages. Ah, shout to Shay Davis, man. And he did a little freestyle here too, man. It's not to say, man. Legend. The NBA has been hiding the biggest secret for decades. It's a pretty interesting video to me, man. Basically, um, Will Chamberlain, a, a guy with a lot of uh a guy with a lot of just like, cause that Will Chamberlain, Bill Russell. I'm not gonna lie, I get him niggas confused sometimes, but I think it's Will Chamberlain. But yeah, basically, he was like dominating, like a pro league. I don't know if he, I think was it the NBA. It might have been the NBA. I know it was some pro league he was playing in under a false name. He was like 17, 16 because it was illegal for him to play in a major league, and he wasn't being uh, of the age of 18. So he, they basically gave him a fake name, like, hey, bro, you you too far to be playing in high school. So. Just balling the name Earl Stevens, you know what I'm saying? You be E40 for the day, EU. So the nigga basically was balling under a fake name, 
And yeah, and he was getting buckets. So shout out to freaking uh, Will Chamberlain. I think it is not Bill Russell, but it's Will Chamberlain. Nigga was getting buckets at 17, averaging like 70 points in the playoffs. Like what? Like, that that's crazy, bro. That nigga really must be playing against bums, or he was just retarded, bro. Cause that's crazy, man. The only man Joel Embiid is afraid of made him cry. Now this video I only highlighted because Joel Embiid. Is, even if you don't watch sports, he is one of the funniest niggas in sports right now on social media. He is the biggest troll you will ever encounter. This nigga is ridiculous, bro. Go follow this man on Twitter, Instagram, whatever if you want to laugh. Go watch this video if you want to laugh. He talked about what made him become a better shooter. And what he Googled just had me rolling, bro. And I ain't even going to spoil it for people that is going to watch it. That nigga there is funny bro goodness gracious easy does it podcast i didn't have to put this in here but yes i did because it's not on my page what well, is on my page but go subscribe to that channel reop studios because i'm going to be on there well i'm always on there now because we have a gaming podcast so if you want to watch me talk more talk about games go subscribe to reop studios that's where you'll get all of your game eric related stuff right there man and I have a little tab thing now, so I can just drop y'all a link. So, yeah, if you forget to do it, you'll get a link soon. Uh, man brings pizza to teen's house. Meets Chris Hansen instead. Hey, this is crazy, bro. Like, this nigga was basically trying to, like, sleep with a 13-year-old. And bro was trying to justify it, man. It was ridiculous, bro. Like, like I said, How to Catch a Predator, classic show. Came back, didn't even know it until recently. Chris Hansen was in his bag, man. This is a hilarious episode. It's not hilarious. It's kind of sad. But the way Chris Hansen came out the room, it was hilarious. But it's just sick, bro. This nigga was really trying to sleep with a 13-year-old girl, man. Um, Tariq Nasheed versus Dusty Caller, who was flossing his Benz key. Hilarious video, man. Um, Sometimes Tariq Nasheed is just, like, too out there for me. But, gosh, this video is hilarious, bro. That nigga said he had a tiny... What he said? Uh... He said some crazy junk about this nigga Beanie. He said that nigga was in an elder's home. Like, goodness gracious. He was going on this nigga who joined his Instagram live. Go watch that if you want to laugh. Goodness gracious, Tariq was going on this nigga. Black Twitter created a monster. That Hennessy sponsorship must be crazy. Bro, Shady Sharp is hilarious, bro. He, he pulled out some Hennessy on TV again, man. And then Skip was like... He was like, you pulled out Hennessy at 9 o'clock in the morning. Then you're smoking going, God knows what. Did Snoop Dogg just leave your dressing room? And this nigga Shadda said, you dry stitching. Skip. Come on, Skip. Come on, Skip. We'll keep it on the low, Skip. <laughs> that nigga that fool, bro. That nigga that is hell, bro. Shout out my dog, man. Tube State Compilation Part 2. Now, I didn't watch this video. But man, I um I seen like nine seconds of it, and I was like, I gotta put this in here. I forgot to go back and watch it. I'm gonna watch this probably like right now if I get done with this. This nigga here is crazy. So if you just want some craziness, cause all they heard nine seconds, I was like, yo, this nigga is out his mind. Shot a tube stick. Howard Stern biggest wigger contest, ridiculous, bro. A whole bunch of white people basically tried out to be in his wigger contest. Pretty funny. One of the niggas YG12. If you watch this, he's he's he ran for mayor this year. And it's crazy because he was making a lot of racist, like, comments. And I was like, oh, this nigga ran for mayor? Crazy, man. You really see who these folks is, man. But it's pretty funny, man. A whole bunch of white people that want to be black. And it's, it's kind of sad, man. It's just, like, they was really just doing the most, man. Opie and Anthony, nigger boy steal wood soap pads. Basically, they paid an old, or they played, not paid. They played an old commercial of them saying, or it was like an old, like, Australian commercial for like some product called nigger boy and it was just ridiculous man I, th I think it's like it cleans off like your your jeans or something like that so if you waste some some juice on your jeans hey, hey can you give me that nigger boy right now man <laughs> hey get the nigger boy off the uh, off the top shelf <laughs> that's just crazy man the nigger boy man ridiculous smino noir album review and reaction in depth Really in-depth three-second review, man. Go watch. If you don't watch anything, just watch that. It's three seconds. Like, literally just watch it like that. Really in-depth interview. Go watch it, man. And funny pranks are funny public pranks. Employee gets mad snippet. This is a nigga I also know in real life. Go subscribe to him, man. Um, I never wanted to be this nigga. But if you do go subscribe to him, comment, Eric sent me. Do that. I want to I wanna know if I have enough power to get niggas say, Eric sent me. Don't ever do that again after that. But do it on that video right there. Say, Eric sent me. All right? All right. I'm out of here. Bye.